everybody, welcome to the Berkeley campus. Um, we're the Vajan organization. And Mama Sina Mantashari is the spiritual director of the Vajan organization. And he's going to give a session today on living a spiritual life, advice on how to meditate. So let's welcome Mantashari. And I sense that it's Lara Tasha. Okay, so first I want to say hello and welcome to everyone who's here. Suffering and um, we like 
continue to experience this happiness and suffering and wonder and samsara. And the holy dharma is something that's that is for um, cutting off the continuity of um, our suffering experience. So the Dharma is something that's very extremely precious and it's something that all of us really need. So as for how to practice the Dharma, there's um, many, many different ways. There's a wide variety of different ways to go about practicing the Dharma. Yes. And there's a lot of different kinds of people doing practice, and there's a lot of different um, ways of practicing for all those different kinds of people. Um, since we all have a human rebirth, as human beings, we all need um, some kind of spiritual practice. So we all definitely need some kind of spirituality, and there's many different uh, spiritual religious traditions in the world, all different kinds of traditions. <coughs> It's, there's an inconceivable variety of different spiritual traditions, but um, just, just if we talk about just Buddhism, so in terms of Buddhism, we talk about a precious human rebirth, and there's lots of um, human beings, but um, not all of them um, have a precious human rebirth, which refers to um, knowing how to do dharma practice, being able to speak and understand and um, understand how to practice the dharma. That, that's what a precious human rebirth refers to. There's a, there's a lot of uh, beings in the world. There's a lot of beings in the world, but human beings have the ability to um, speak and understand language, and so we have the capacity to um, like learn things and learn how to practice them. <laughs> So we have precious human rebirth, and um, all of us naturally have um, compassion um, within us. Um, we have the um, Buddha nature, the seed of enlightenment, 
um, naturally within us. So, um, depending upon different beings, um, karma and habits, they can have um, a more or less strong compassion in their minds, but um, everyone, all sentient beings, all have. Um, this compassion naturally present within their mind streams. This is the basis for this compassion. This is the basis for um, all spiritual traditions. So for Dharma practitioners, it's very important for us to um, train our mind and train ourselves to be um, pure hearted. So this is something we um, definitely need to do. If we have compassion and if we have a, a pure-hearted um, state of mind, then we will naturally come to accomplish our dharma practice. If we don't have compassion, if we don't have a pure hearted mind, then there's not much difference between us, between having a human rebirth or being uh, born as some other kind of sentient being like an animal. So compassion is very important. So the reason I said that um, we all need a spiritual practice in our lives um, is connected to compassion. Um, if we have compassion, then um, we will be able to accomplish um, whatever we set out to do for our own selves, and we will be able to um, be beneficial for other beings. It will like, naturally accomplish this uh, twofold benefit of self and others. So, um, um, so this is why I said that um, we all need spirituality in our lives it's because um, we all need to have compassion. <coughs> So I don't think that's difficult to understand. I think everybody understood what I was saying, but um, if, if not, if, then please um, ask questions about that now. Um, so, if there's no questions, that's good. But then, um, compassion is mainly um, about um, helping others, benefiting others. I'm 
asking if there's anybody online that has a question of what you just said. So I'll just, let me just, um, I'll see if there's a, a response. Thank you. Um, so we need to have compassion and on top of um, having compassion for our spiritual life, um, we need to have um, confidence, we need to have um, confidence and um, faith in karma cause and effect and the objects of refuge. Um, confidence and faith in the uh, three jewels or the triple gems. These, these triple gems are the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. So, um, these triple gems that are the objects of refuge have the um, power to protect us um, from all of the suffering of samsara and their undeceiving. No one else in the entire universe has that power. That's why they're so special and precious. Whether called the triple gems, um, these super triple gems, the, the main one of these three is the is Buddha. The main object of refuge is the Buddha. And then the, the Buddha's speech or the Buddha's teachings are the, the path. And then the Sangha of our um, spiritual friends and teachers are like our companions on the path. So these three, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, are the three objects of refuge. Um, the triple gems. Depending on how much faith we have in the triple gems, uh, we, will, we will receive uh, a correspondingly great or little blessing. So if we have um, the best kind of the, Faith in the triple gems, we will receive the best blessing. Um, if we have medium faith in the triple gems, we'll have medium, we'll receive medium blessing. And if we have only very little faith in the triple gems, we'll receive very um, little blessings. Um, and it's not because they don't have compassion for us or something, but if we don't have faith, then it's like we don't have any. 
um, container to put the blessings in the mercy. Um, if, we, if we don't have faith in them, it won't connect with us. So, um, faith is about um, purifying our observation and having confidence in the triple gems. In, in order to um, gain faith, we, um, in, order, in order for it to connect with our um, minds, we have to um, practice. In order to gain this confidence, we have to do practice. And 
once we have some spiritual practice in our lives, um, once we have some um, object of refuge to rely upon, then um, we will be more relaxed. Our minds will be more relaxed in all circumstances, whether um, we encounter our happy or sad circumstances. <laughs> If you're not careful, I'm going to speak my broken English. <laughs> There's a question from somebody online. Um, is it a good time to ask? Um, she wanted to know. She wanted to know how the triple gems is a protector. Texas. That's something that um, you will uh, know for yourself through your own experience if you do practice. <laughs> It's um, something you can really experience directly for yourself. It's not anything difficult to understand. Um, there's a, a lot of uh, examples that demonstrate this, like real, true stories and things that we can actually see. One famous example is um, the, the master, um, George J. Pavan Akisha, um, who was very famous in that as a, uh, uh, he was an Indian scholar that went to Tibet and he was very famous, widely known as the Refuge Lama. Stupas. 
uh, people would wear them in lockets around their neck. And then um, later, rather than chains, communists took over Tibet, and during the Cultural Revolution, um, a lot of people were killed, and a lot of people uh, fled to India and things. But uh, there was one person who they tried to kill, but um, they couldn't, no matter how many different weapons they tried. And then they uh, like checked his whole body. And they found that he had one of these sasas around his neck. And then they took that sasa off his neck and put it on the dog and shot at the dog. And that dog fought. Also became um, like immune to the guns because of that. So um, that's an example of how re refuge can uh, protect us, even in terms of um, external. Circumstances. Um, and if, it, if refuge can protect us in that way, then of course it can also protect us internally in our own minds. And, um, and I have uh, experiences with this um, myself also. Um, when my family uh, escaped to that, um, my father did, did, you know, he had never been upset that he didn't know where to go, he didn't know how to get to India at all. He had, he had no idea of the, the route to go to India. But he had very strong faith in the Triple Gems and in Guru Rinpoche. So he decided that uh, wherever the wind blew, that was the direction that Gurje was um, guiding us to go to. So the, um, Gurje showed us the path for leaving uh, to that, that way, and we did successfully escape. So there's no doubt about um, whether the triple gems boundaries of refuge can actually protect us or not, um, but it depends upon how, but depending upon how strong of faith we have in them, you know, receive the uh, Greater or lesser blessings. Um, we have to um, like place all of our faith with our body, speech, and mind in in the triple gems and supplicate and pray in that way. Um, it rests all our hopes on the triple gems. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So the outer elements and the disturbance of the inner elements, and then the, secretly there's the disturbance of our minds. There's a lot of mental disturbance, including depression that's happening nowadays. Everyone has a lot of um, fear and anxiety. And nothing else can protect us from all these things except for the um, triple gems, the objects of refuge. This isn't just uh, lip service or entry into words. If, if we practice for ourselves, then we will um, come to really understand this well for ourselves. If we practice then, um, no matter how much the outer elements and the inner elements are disturbed, um, the secret aspect of our own minds um, will still be um, happy and content and um, we won't have any um, fears or sickness, anxiety, anxiety um, like sickness, and we will be like really different from other people. But this is like a dream. It's not something we can show to other people at all. But we'll have the experience of it in our own minds. Um, it's like a dreams. We can't show our dreams to anyone else, but we still um, believe that everyone has dreams. So in the same way, Dharma practitioners um, have like have experience of the Dharma for themselves and have confidence in the Dharma for themselves. So, so for us, if um, our lives and our spiritual practice go together um, throughout our whole lives, then we will have very happy lives. Um, when I or I have one um, friend, a um, Dharma practitioner, who I know from when I lived in Oregon. Mm -hmm. And uh, last year I went to Oregon again. And um, I met her and she um, told me um, that she's, that she prays to the triple gems and she's very, she uh, met the Buddha Dharma. Uh, she's very happy she met the Buddha Dharma this life. She's telling me that. That's a lot of things. <laughs> she told me that she's very happy she met the Buddha Dharma in this life. Yes, 
psychiatrist even once she didn't have to um, you know, go to therapy or receive any um, kind of psychiatric medication at all. Um, she didn't um, even through all kinds of um, like scary and anxiety inducing situations. Um, she didn't have any of that kind of um, suffering and she said it was because she um, like, prayed to the triple gems. Um, so she was t telling me like how she felt very um, fortunate um, to have met the Buddha Dharma in this that time and um, saying how powerful the triple gems are to, and that she really had uh, confidence in this now. I didn't hear your question. Uh, maybe darkness, I think his name is dark. Darkness or something, the one western. <coughs> she did, I think, just a seven times, I think, one western. It's actually diagnosed in the 1990s. He was diagnosed with cancer. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gomar, Douglas. Gomar, yeah. Yeah. And he diagnosed the basic doctors every day, chemotherapy, you know, I believe. Three weeks, yeah. if you didn't do chemotherapy within a week, you're going to pass through it. There's no hope, really, not so much. Maybe there's a student or there's some attention with the people, the letter, something of which is a student is. And then he was kind of terrified to this kind of dying, and then he asked something of so what to do. He said, you should be Tibetan, that's in the sun, like that kind of, uh, was a cancer, like that kind of, and you don't disturb, like, black Hayakiva, that uh, right from the black Hayakiva practicing. If you want to do it, if you do that, it will not go to harm you, if not benefit, but anyway, you are dying within three weeks. It's nothing too long, you want to. And I try. He said, I'm just but I try any of your kind of suggestion. And then Chagurama just said, you go to two months and you keep silent for the practice that. And his mind is thinking, how oh, I keep it two months <laughs> because I'm dying within three weeks. But anyway, he had no hesitation. He yes, and he went to the teach. And actually, he's still alive. 
is late and the last time I see it, I talked to him, great practice. How you did that practice? It is an unknown great practice, but I was just part of some people looking at the refugee, actually, and in a dying thing. That's why he did practice very sincerely. And I'm still alive. He said, I don't have to eat anyone. Pill has <laughs> just accepted vitamins. He said, anyway, like that kind of way, you have faith or you have believed actually. It is triple terms never going to fall. Similarity like that, uh, my friend, she also so much tragedies, but she says, if I didn't that like Buddha Dharma, this life, I'm right now in this depression and all kind of so much medicine, or maybe I'm already suicide. Mm. But right now, from this, she said, I saw different people having like this kind of most of their suicide, but I have nothing. And I pray and I just said, I'm happy. I don't have to go to the doctor. I don't have any depression medicine or to show so many psychiatrists and different things. And it's all those actually, she's telling me actually working very well for me in my life. This table jump. It's not Tibetan, it's a Western. You know, if you had faith in Jerusalem, if you don't have faith in Jerusalem, why I need faith, why I need something to do, it doesn't work. Because you don't have any, since you don't have and it's not only for Dharma, any kind of project you do work, if you don't put full heart in your working, and if you do just some kind of then it's not going to accomplish, you know. That's why it is so important. Really, our life is made spiritual to support our life, be unhappy and successful, and all your own loved ones and other. So all this to caring, to compassion. And otherwise, we are basically same as animals. Animals, they survive themselves. You know, someone dies, uh, laws of survival, that's good. But a human has a different special quality than animals. This two compassion is spiritual, and this two combine in your daily life. And then two, uh, what do I do in the daily life work? No excuses you can do your work, but at the same time, just be a good heart and just enough to believe in triple junction. Just pray. If you pray, it can be taken only 20 seconds. <laughs> That's no excuse for I don't have time for. You need no need so long that you just, you just sit on a thing all the time. And to pray, bleeding, and the good we need. Is that is the, our daily life. We need that kind. And that humans are a little bit going to be different than other. Different. It can be special. There's a lot of Western practitioners that I see many places. Actually, they who does wonderful practice very sincerely in their different, maybe they are not well through something, but they have different than others. They have some energies, sweeting, nice, positive, and also themselves, actually, calmer than others, and some kind of peace in their mind. Otherwise, this is everybody is almost living in the fear. We know that it is nothing to kind of deny about. It's a true happening right now. That's why we need a space of more support in our life. That's it's so important. That's actually you. Our human means this life is being used meaningful 
in which is to benefit not only ourselves to serve the, to uh, some kind of success, but also being kind for others. Talk of that, not just for something suitable, our son, something power or wealth, but be a spiritually powerful on your mind, and then nobody can control, press, cannot press down. When you have good spiritual in your mind, then the devotee, nobody can call stress yet. Yeah. Not like talking about people, but any kind of circumstances, wealth or sickness or whatever karmics or something comes, but you're not going to be depressed like there. You're not going to like put out like that. You'll be inside this sunshine, is still in your mind, because of you have compassion and triple sense. In your inseparable in your mind, that's why it's really, really necessary. It's like we are like this place is like so thirsty for some kind of desperate for water to drink, which is compassion and to both sides to pray. That's spiritual way, thirsty from spiritual. It is not necessary, so very elaborate. It's just be a simple, be a daily life, family, what kind of you know, like relation with the family, but inside has some kind of peace to believe in Buddha Dharma and, and of course according to your own like modern books, Tara, any kind of Bajatwaya, like chair batteries, any kind of some kind of yeah, spiritual kind of budget supper, some kind of law on duty, including Buddha Shakyam, something you can always you can count and that is your actually spiritual and you can before you shall you can pray to whatever you are what doing daily that is a, not only but just working as for your work that has made a more effect on the benefit, thinking nicely to a positive. And then seeing so many different meals everywhere, how set for compassion for all, and I wish to really kind of to help to prevent all the suffering, even though I know this moment. I don't have power, but sometimes I'm going to be power because I have faith to triple chance. You know, like example, I have faith in Tara and I'm praying Tara, she will protect for us thinking. Just like that kind, any kind of you have um, deities or Buddha and any kind you can believe in that and to do faith and devotion. Your life is not only this life, life after life going to be happy. There's Nagarjuna said, Nagarjuna said, who is spiritual, is like just starting the light now. That light is going to be more and more shiny, up to reach enlightenment. That's Nagarjuna said. That's what spiritual is. If you can do spiritual, even the sparkle like it, right now there, once that matter is gone, it's dark to dark. It's really sad. Those are karmic is cannot deny. It's everybody experience. It's not Buddhist idea. It's not somebody's matter. It's happening here all of it's cannot deny. That's why we have to be believing karma, respecting karma, and how to respect karma is trying to do positive things, trying to avoid negative things, and always check our own mind and be compassionate and be truthful, honest. And if there's nothing, 
benefit for others is honest, honest, everywhere is not bound like that. And there's also Pashur, which is one great practitioner in this century, right? Last century, 40 years. Hmm? 1800, yeah, like that. But one great master, he is the most scholar and the most mis mischievous. <laughs> <laughs> he is giving advice to everybody. There are necessary be three things to be kept in secret. <coughs> yes, of course. Uh, Guess what they are? And so one thing is kept secret, other people's faults. Mm. He said it's unnecessary to defend other people's fault. It is not a benefit for you, but it is a harm other. Mm. One. And other things on your knowledge, if you need necessary time, you can use, but Always you cannot boss your own college is just kept in. When you need, you can use this other, keep it secret. Yeah. That's true. And uh, like that, it's part of what you said. It's What's, not like What's it. number three? Third one is, third one is then, was a, you, what are you doing? Activity is necessary. If not necessary, you do not need to advertise. It will bring some more than accomplish. It will bring obstacles. There's a, especially like great projects like that, that you cannot to advertise someone. It will bring some more so obstacles. They say if you are wise, interesting, they say if you are something project starting, you know, what are you doing is just not bad, but you just keeps in as much as more low key and then it less obstacles. That's his advice. That's what I'm Maybe we can do questions and answers now, Rinpoche. Huh? Maybe we can do questions and answers now. Time. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's one I have to conclude with you. Okay. <laughs> conclude. <laughs> And uh, that's why we need to spread you, why we need to spread you, and why is we has for them with this lifetime to get our goal spread to us against this and I'm saying all this is not just for really idea or talking. This is a, we have to fly actually we have to fly. Fly now we have to fly. It's not for idea and it's not for something to wait for time and there's a good time. That's it. Be compassionate means nothing to wait for a good time. Be a living and pray you no know, need to wait for bad time, some bad news and then have to pray. We have to pray right now is a good time because all those are Doctors and compassion are not need to wait for the right time. We have to do if you wait, there's not be a good time. Always something come up. That's a basic it's like a beautiful or handsome say, hair, wonderful hair, catching fire, you don't need to wait. You have to immediately to can so much this spiritual has been. That is the right way. There's nothing to wait for the right circumstances. It's all the time necessary. That's why I can kind of I just to be talking this and thank you so much. But whatever I say is unclear and any kind of question is there, please now. It's the time of someone says. Here's a question from Michael. No, do I need a microphone? No. Oh. No. So, on this one, you mentioned that the imbalance of the elements can be an obstacle uh, for uh, taking refuge, or is it about that? 
that taking refuge from the fundamentals of the tech ones, inner and outer imbalances of the elements. But what about the whole dimension of spirit influence, which I've read about that there are negative spirits that can influence people? The refuge protects from that as well? Yeah. It's all that protects. Even not only dead agents, even outside God blows to protect. That's uh, all that you said. It's not only like this. So I tell you about the other chance of story. That's actually physically they have one like chapter which is like relative the one teacher young is the age in Turka Alexis in Tibet. He was in the teacher culture revolution time. Is actually up there in the mountains, and then they tied up his hand with a horse, and then they all the way down to this office, like two valleys cross, and down they did that. Because of that uh, but he was don't want to uh, give up the Dharma, and then they forced to like this dead in the horse, and then down there in the office of this kind. He has uh, nothing wrong. He didn't do any injury or something. And then the kind of said, now what you feel, kind of they think big punishment. Of course, it is taking uh, not only just like hundred or like it's like tens of miles a day from home horse. And what he said, he told I feel very sorry for my crop, this body is so heavy, this horse makes him so suffering. That's why I'm so sad he cried that. Mm. And like that kind of, there's so many beautiful things, really. Like this, it protects all the time, not only that, you know, he's on a digital in the back of young times, and from there one time they have a very steep, really they have a carry it's like in the people uh, they are also not like who live in that area people who can not like go through that steep things and they carry and they went they his religion and his uh, wife like that kind of. but then they of course down there comes the uh, all of it or kind of this was Kiria, the history of the Dillion to give her. Of course, get her the story. This was a, they actually did as a feel. They actually carry that is so light. Mm. The Dillion to Buddha doesn't feel his skin. He says, I'm saying as empty I'm running. I never feel that you are heavy. But have come to this. Two words I'm saying to faith is like, it's no joke. It's not really, it's just a matter of the really determined. You have to believe in practice everything possibility. Okay? That's why it's any kind of negative influence. But even in this life, if there's some reason, many like life's negative karmas, but all life is sick. But then next life, you don't have to go through that kind of thing. And this life, even the sick, is not going to feel the same as other people depressed. And I'm sick, they feel their true practices, even the physical, not healing, but mentally healing is no more suffering in your hand, in your body. That actually happening. The body is like karmic body. It's like whatever it is, what kind of karma you but you none but you say that's a body. The mind is different. That's why next body, what kind of body you want is this time you can prepare. What your God body is already done, he has already seated today. It's just a result is coming. Okay. That's why any kind of you do something, it can be healed, okay? Thank you. You don't understand my English? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> then, question.
mm -hmm. does the uh, triple dual kind of like methodology or um, kind of practice overall have to do with uh, like charging spiritual energy um, or building kind of some kind of spiritual energy? Yeah, it's a more than spiritual energy. Energy is just comes from the voice. Energy chart. But especially if you just practice meditation, is actually healing your mind. The mind heals. How to heal is mind itself is immaterial, but trouble of immaterial there, both habit very heavy habit. That habit is clearing. It's like foggy. That fog is the wind is destroyed. Then it's quiet blue sky. It is uh, beyond the energy. But of course, at the beginning I said it's like natural, uh, like charging energy, but it is a little bit different than that. So it is like once it is there, it's not go away. I do not search it's is like it's like then someday it also going to be exhausted. It's finished. It's more than searching. It's actually gaining in your mind so to prevent bad habits. There's no habit, there's no suffering. If you have, it's very easy to example. You have, I just say, uh, I have to say kind of example, it's easy to understand. You have friends, right? Uh, you have girlfriends, oh, yeah. but you two are different energy, different habits. That's why that habit is going to be not match. Then opinion is not going to match. Then it becomes argument, disagree, right? Then it is small things out, it becomes stronger. Then it hurts. Then it is subject. Then I don't like that kind of kid. But that, like, like that kind of where is coming from? It's coming from habits. That habit is actually purifying. Means there's no more, it's more than charging energy. It's kind of purifying there. Body is like current body, it's like all in the world, like this since born months, birth. Matter of the time is going to be exhausted. So someday it lasts like 90 years, 100 years, I may say. But even 100 years last not so much a function very well. Like that kind of thing. Anyways, but mind is continuous. It's not a Buddhist idea. Mind is continuous. <coughs> Even you're sleeping, mind is continuous. You're waking, mind is continuous. You're dead, mind is continuous. That's where all sufferings are experiencing is in your mind. How is the habit like? I'm sick, fever, that's a habit. I'm cold, that cold habit. I'm hot, hot habit. All those, those all energy. Like that kind of energy to, to purify and clarify. The triple gems is like, this triple gems is what to say you have some kind of knowledge. What's the no, triple gems here? Knowledge was methodology. No. Methodology. Huh? Methodology. Oh, I think I said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. This is a, of course, it's not slow, whatever your language is not slow, but actually it is why it is how to purify habits because ultimately triple is within in your mind. Your mind nature is Buddha's idea, it's actually Buddha. That's why it is not recognized 
precluded by habits. That's why any kind of practice doing is to purify that habit and do then actually work on to blossom on Buddha nature. That's the core of enlightenment. It's doing really like that kind. Then that is like is uh, of course it's a good example like energy judgment, but uh, language is like very limited language. It's like church is also then going to be discharged. It's going to be <laughs> finished churches after it does a long last. So more than that, once you have some kind of flavor, it's there is almost there. And it's going to be more and more expanding. It's not going to do some kind of finishing. This is more than judging. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> I like to exercise my broken English, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. What were the three advice of Patrick and Pichet again? Could you just say? So, so, hide three secrets. Suppose no talk. Yeah. One is your own qualities. Knowledge. No yeah, no boasting. Other ones don't talk other people's faults. And you don't talk about your, mm, uh, what's called, your activity, jobs, you know, what about finance, what about the kid, like that. It's true, you can say, oh, I have peace, go on to them, such and such, I put them in, some kid will come and <laughs> take them. Uh, anyway, those three are supposed to not talk about activity, what are your dreams, and so come please, and not to keep secret your own knowledge, keep not digging for other people's fault. It's not necessary. It's only going to harm for others, it's not benefit for you, and also breaking your own body to the companies as well. Those three are the bottom advice. Keep three secrets. Um, nobody had questions at this time, Rinpoche. Oh, I, I just checked, but I can check again. Uh, the practice impact your uh, person's worldly pursuit? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, uh, there's a uh, much more benefit. It's like, it's like I, I, I have to have good example, bad example, maybe not bad, but just <laughs> Sometimes it goes airplane or driving or car like that kind of right? If you're driving towards there and the wind blows this direction, it is a hard one. <laughs> yes, if you driving and the wind blows the other way, airplane so like that can be it's much faster. I know. So much you have spectral and you have what 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 are you doing? It supports for easiness, even though you didn't see or feel, but it will. And that's my example. <laughs> yeah. 
Shane, thank you. Um, you spoke about um, doing practice and having to have, you know, it's not just lip service, but sometimes I find that I'll forego doing practice because I think I don't have enough time to do it right. Um, and I guess my question is like, is it better for me if, if I don't have the time to really like sit down and do a puja or something? Is it okay for me to just like just say it fast while I'm cooking or while I'm cleaning or something like that? Why is then it becomes a wish of I say actually you don't have focus or anything, just doing and working, it becomes the same as music entertainment, like mm -hmm. you're working. But as far as you need some kind of seated in your mind to plan very nicely, then it's very easy to do with what that's all the beginning, no matter what, you have to five minutes, ten minutes. 15 minutes at least to your the best to your body, speech, mind, all the use and be a still. Still, not moving. Mind is trying to not move, focus, whatever, and his speech is not moving, other things just whatever, praying, their focus. The mind is not moving, concentrating that. So what happens, physically have something moving there, but also naturally, body and mind, our body is already moving, but mind is also going along with that. It's like Tibetan says, example, it's like you know, some you know, water, trouble, leaves and like that kind, but under there's a running, looks like there's a lot of moving, but under is running like that kind. So that it looks like not moving, but it is mind, steam is a focus, whatever you do there. That's the beginning of it. You have to have some kind of every day, even 10 minutes or so, okay, really trying to do this my meditation time. I want to do very nicely three seven prayers or one seven prayer. Or more by the good ones and then they turn the one or what was that or what are you practice doing? Just focus and do nice and then later bit after done, right way, not like up, go just sit a little bit. Whatever your spiritual practice do, this energy is absorbing in you, not right way going. Just be still, quiet and nothing thinking. Just be aware of mind, just lead them a little bit and then you can go on. Just do them slowly so you become so that more confident. Then you can do all the same time. It's like you practice doing bell, drum, and singing all three together, but beginning you cannot do it. <laughs> you have to do one at a time. But slowly you practice then you can do all three same time, right? You ring bell, you can drum, and you sing, and all those three are together. So much in the beginning, you have to have mind a little bit more called foundation established. Uh, how long it takes until that, you cannot do like that. It's okay to do all the same time. But it's anyway, but you're not alone. Don't think that's what actually, um, um, what call that will not going to get gain practice nicely. That's what happens all the time, everywhere. There's so many lots of sunrises, but really has a quality sunrise, not so many. But they all do doing like that kind. Kind of a little bit of wishy washy. Some are people they do practice, but actually, they when start and when finish, they don't have a clue and just follow maturity and like that. But one, you have, that's why every teacher said 
You do a very short time, but very many. And each time you do 10 minutes or five minutes, no any interfering, no any just focus to if you do that kind of one month, I guarantee you know, you will get some kind of test. Yeah. Meditation is like that. Well, it works like that. But I don't know how to say other people, but now I know. You can you get your self-confidence because otherwise it's not going to get any flavor confidence. Then just keep doing and looks like nothing happening. It's like throwing rocks in the ocean with nothing of glue and nothing feeling. That's going to happen. That's why quality is very important. Amount is, of course, not that important. Really important is quality. You spend very good quality. You will be like right where you will know this result. <clears throat> then you know how to do practice. Okay. This is the uh, beginning. Say, not necessary to be doing all of like on the course of about 10, 1, 2, 3, miles and driving cars. It is a hard time. But it's good to be happy to, to, to be mind is not falling the ordinary. Good habit to pray, driving, like this kind of body. You have to focus on driving, but in the way. But uh, in the beginning, it's like short and always do one, two, three times. You can do like you can get 10 minutes, you can get uh, time. That is like, so I don't do 10 minutes for 24 hours. That's what nobody can accept, you know. You can get 10 minutes in 24 hours. Inside it, that's like very recent effort. That quality, I know those experience actually. My mind is bad. I was teaching in sentence, that's why I remember to talk to my teacher. I think it's benefit for you all. Actually, what is it? Don't let me kiss in class. It's, it's only like one minute, it's a fine day to. Without any mistake, and repeat three times, like, they memorize, like, say, Lama la Kyapsi Chu, Lama la Kyapsi Chu, Lama la Kyapsi Chu, and this I take the Kutsi Lama, like this word, the kids and make them memorize that. And they say, without mistake, make them say it three times, then they would just say, this three times it doesn't take almost one minute, it doesn't take. And then I'm going to say, oh, you did a good job, now you go play. You go play. Next day came to perfectly. I was so shocked. Who cares that they cannot do perfectly three times in the destruction and then next time they come, they actually keep making mistakes. Same time, it's like so, it's so true without any, that's why it's Quality is so important. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, yeah. There's one question online, but I had to get clarification because um, not sure. But she's saying no lack of faith, but I'll, I'll, but I'll, and try to pray to triple gems. How do I get strong enough to? And she didn't finish. Hmm? Too, too, too ill, too, too ill. Oh, Ill. She's sick. Too sick. So, okay. Ill is um, sick. Oh, I thought it was ill. No, no lack of faith, but too ill, and try to pay to the triple gem. So, how do I get strong enough to? I guess, um, pray to the Triple Gems while she's ill, maybe? Mm -hmm. Of course, there's uh, many uh, different kind of ill, you know. 
Is emotional and physical sick. Mm. Hers is. Yeah, then both are actually has to kind of do nice. The past very first is to actually mind to was a, to pray this mind need when you pray mind need good clear. That's why past is sit a little bit quietly, quiet. Quietly. Uh -huh. And right now, like I said, example, you are in the world, you are disturbing things, like one motion like this. Then you can now think of now I'm going to go to pray or meditation time. But if you have some kind of good door to spiritual entering, that's why you have to lead a bit sit to just not think anything mind little bit relax that will make the distinction in motion and want to pray there's a little bit mind that we have a gap to join spiritual and then you can pray if you have emotion you do not pray a long time you have not then you can pray like a short time five minutes whatever like that kind of you can pray. And then you can actually the same I just told earlier to absorbing energy, little bit of rest. And then whatever your activity you're doing, and you can do those a little bit. And then again you come back and you can do very short, same thing, do again and again like that kind. You are already emotional, so I always just disturb water. You cannot get clear the water. In order to clear that disturbing water, a little bit need settle down and it will clear. So that you have some kind of space to pray and emotion. Emotion and this two are kind of together like this. It's it not going to either not going to be good meditation. Okay. Did I understand? Not okay, I asked her if she could understand, but um, so did you understand Rinpoche's um, explanation? And then um, if you didn't understand, then he said, <laughs> mostly she said, uh, Sai can explain yes, if. <laughs> Um, just for five minutes. Mm -hmm. 
bit of the answers than the work and the rest of them. So some of them without thinking about anything. Today, we are doing this in the video and we need to go in the teachers. Then after resting, then um, go and do whatever other activities you need to do. <laughs> And the, the best thing um, for us Buddhists is if after we do meditation, after we finish doing our meditation, and then after we rest a bit, then we do a um, dedication, like dedicating the merit. And then you can uh, do meditation again after that. So uh, it, it, it's um, good to meditate again and again for a um, short period of time, but do a lot of sessions, a lot of repetition like that. If you do that, then it's definitely, it will definitely be beneficial. There's one person I know from Oregon who um, did Dharma practice, and they had a lot of uh, people in their family that had committed suicide, and uh, they had really serious uh, that was called so yes. or he had, he had um, like serious so like depression, anxiety, mental disturbance. Um, but through doing meditation practice, he became a very stable, relaxed person, like within a few years of starting to do practice. Um, if we practice um, in the right way, then Dharma practice is very powerful. So I think if you practice in that way, then it will definitely be very beneficial. But I think that. Um, okay, so we have um, two messages from Pache. One is from Alexandra. She's um, gratitude, Pache, and thank you for your precious manifestation and advice. And now another message just came in to the translator. 
Dear translator, I'd like to share the teachings that are very special effectiveness when we hear in Bishay's Tibetan than your translation. It doesn't distract from no sound engineer, but I know that there exists better equipment that would help out the muffled aspects of Rinpoche's voice. You're young and you'll get um, it right. Sharing is terrific. Anyway, I think it was mostly for me saying that maybe the sound isn't good. <laughs> And um, the woman that you're answering says, um, one long session is difficult, but she will do shorter ones. And thank you, Bishi. Mm -hmm. Next time we better let her Thank you. And Shall we do our dedication? Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for your access. Really, the here was to send us something wonderful for to spread your to invite and to interpret to spread this like very, very benefit for others here. People do this just so much really needed that we need a hand and a spiritual list. We very needed it. That's why I really appreciate that to have a wonderful place. Thank you. So I'm there from the first of all, I need to be in the world of condition. I want to buy the best of the Thank you.